Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Jojo Palacio and on this channel, we talk about all things beauty. Today on this channel, I am so excited because I have been committing to you guys that I will be getting more affordable drugstore products. And I did. I went crazy shopping and doing multiple different hauls for you guys to just talk about some good old affordable drugstore products. So we have a few things to talk about before we get into this haul. The first one being is we are on the last day of the third week of my eight week giveaway marathon. Yes, you heard right, eight week giveaway marathon. For the past three weeks, I have been giving away different items, whether it's brushes or makeup or both, um, in hopes of helping me grow my YouTube channel. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do so now because we still have five weeks left. As a matter of fact, today is almost the last end part of the giveaway for this week, which if you don't know, we will talk about briefly. This week we are giving away the Perfect Angle Four Piece Face Brush Set and Case. This is by Morphe. In this brush case, you will get uh, multiple brushes, highlighter, um, contouring brushes as well as angled powder brushes and this case is amazing i actually got a chance to use it a couple of weeks ago and i really really like the way that it held the brushes up in addition to that you will be getting this morphe x manny mua glam palette it has eyeshadow, highlighter, and blush inside of this palette. So you are winning these two items. Again, the giveaway ends today at 6 p.m. In the description box below, you can find out how to enter the giveaway as well as what I am giving away and when I am announcing the winners. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I will highly recommend that you go to my Instagram and subscribe because that is where I announce the giveaway winners each and every single week. So the other thing is if you like this look, this is actually a first impression using a lot of the products that I'm going to talk about in today's haul. So subscribe to my channel because this first impressions is going to be up next week for the fourth week of giveaways. So that being said, let's get started with these e.l.f. Cosmetics makeup haul. So in this box here, I have a ton of e.l.f. makeup. I went online and I ordered some of the best selling products as well as some things that I have heard a ton about that I know I needed to review personally. So if you didn't know, I didn't know for the longest time, e.l.f. stands for eyes, lips, and face. Comment down below if you knew that, because if you did and it just took me forever to figure it out, I mean, it's been five years now since I found out. But when e.l.f. first started coming out, I was like, e.l.f. makeup, that's really weird. Like, why would they name it e.l.f.? And then I realized that it was for eyes, lips, and face. If it's just me, I'm sorry. I'm a weirdo. Sorry. Okay, so let's get started. I have zero specific order. All of the prices will be listed down below to everything. But I'm just going to randomly pull things out. Again, I did use a lot of this makeup in the first impression to film this makeup look. I will have... Um, that video up next week. So subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit the notification button. That way you are made aware of when that video goes up. But let's get started. So first off is this guy right here. This is the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set Spray. I really do like the setting spray. I was talking about it while I was filming my first impressions. This was my go-to setting spray for the longest time way back in the day. So technically it's not a first impression. It's kind of like a second first impression um, just because I had forgotten how good it is. The only thing I don't like about this is that it is pretty chunky when it comes out of the filter. So just keep in mind that you got to keep it pretty far away from your face when you're spraying it. But I really like the fact that they had it inexpensive. I, this is the larger one of the two and I believe this was just $8. Again, everything will be priced down below. The other product that I have in here, which I was super excited to get, was this guy right here. It is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer, which has the satin finish. If you uh, have seen any of my other drugstore videos, you know that I love using the e.l.f. 16-hour Camo Concealer. It is such a good coverage concealer. The formula wears really well. It lasts really well. I have zero complaints about it. So, of course, when they came out with a Hydrating Camo Concealer, I was like, I have to try it. If you guys don't know, e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer is a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. And now that they have a hydrating formula, 
so does Tarte, and it is absolutely very much a dupe to that. It is so affordable, so inexpensive. I absolutely love this concealer. The next item that was in my haul was this guy right here. This is the e.l.f. Flawless Satin Finish Foundation. It is an oil-free, medium coverage foundation. I really did enjoy using this. If you wanna find out how it wore and how I applied it, again, subscribe to my channel. I have that coming up next week. They had a lot of different shades for this, and I really like the fact that it is an oil-free satin finish, just because a lot of the times, my clients don't necessarily wanna be completely matte, they just don't wanna be slippery, so that is promising. This next item, I was so ecstatic to find out. So if you guys know, e.l.f. has the, the pot or the putty primers, which are absolutely amazing. I've heard so many good reviews. They're dupes for the Tatcha Silk Canvas. They actually have a e.l.f. putty primer trio where you get to try all three formulas of their putty primer. They have a poreless putty primer, which is the one that I use. There's a matte putty primer and a luminous putty primer. All three of these were $10, and this is what they each look like. This is the size, which is essentially a travel size version of each of them. You cannot get a travel size version of anything at Sephora for $10, nevertheless three. So this was actually pretty cool. And I'm glad that they had the option for me to get all three of them instead of just investing into one, because then I get to try them all, you know? So I really did like that. Um, the other thing that they had in here, that I, they had. The other thing that I purchased were actually a couple of lip glosses. I have been on the hunt for something to replace my Marc Jacobs um, gloss. It's an expensive gloss. It's not like you can just go out and get it. And I bought two of these. So this is the e.l.f. Lip Lacquer. I got it in the shade Wild Rose and Bubbles. Um, Bubbles has got more of like a sparkly, glittery finish to it which i'm hoping isn't super glittery so that it can kind of top everything with it and then the wild rose i'm actually wearing now it was actually really really nice on the lips very smoothing it didn't stick it doesn't stick so i have very high hopes for this lip gloss the next thing in this haul is actually this wow brow by elf i Love this, love, love, love it. Um, this reminds me of the Benefit Gimme Brow, which is that small combed fiber gel that they use for the brows. This is exactly it. I got it in two shades, Deep Brown and Burnett. Um, I'm actually wearing it on my eyebrows now and I was not disappointed by it. So, so good. So I got two of them, different colors, depending on what my hair is doing. When my roots grow in, I'm a little darker, obviously, but then when I get my highlights, I'm a little lighter. So I like to have options when it comes to brow products because that helps keep my brow as natural looking as possible. Keeping up with the brows, I am, I got two of these Instant Lift Brow Pencils, one in neutral brown and the other one in deep brown. So these I have heard are so good and I could not wait to find out because they're $5 each and I got them in two shades, one in deep brown and the other one in neutral brown. Um, so excited for this because this seriously reminds me of either the Rare Beauty brow pencils or even the um, Benefit, the, the thicker one of the Benefit pencils, which is nice because this is $5 as opposed to 20 something dollars for a brow product. Just saying. The next item in here is this guy right here, which is the e.l.f. Mint Melt Cooling Face Primer. This is part of their um, new Mint Melt collection. So this guy is said to be a dupe for the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I cannot wait to see how this wears or how well my makeup lasts wearing this because if that is true, honey, Ooh, ooh. The fact that e.l.f. has such good inexpensive dupes, plus it is a cruelty vegan friendly brand is so good to me because I mean, it's such good quality stuff, such good quality stuff. Again, prices and everything will be linked down below. The next um, item is this Eye Bite Eyeshadow in Hot Jalapeno. I got it in Hot Jalapeno and I also got it in Pumpkin Pie. So they are these super cute small eyeshadow palettes. They're quads that have both matte and shimmer shades in them. I had just been seeing them all over YouTube and I thought, okay, I have to try this. If it's that simple, if it's that easy, you can take one quad and just go with it. 
why not? I had to try the quality. I had to see how well they blended out, if there was any fallout. So we will see about those. Um, the other thing I wanted to try out for you guys were highlighters and blushes that were from the drugstore. It's another commitment that I made. And so I got these Bite Size Face Duos. One is in Spiced Apple and the other one is uh, White Peach. So I'm really, really excited for these. I'm actually wearing White Peach now and this highlight on this White Peach is no joke. Zero jokes here. It is serious, real deal, people. Um, and so they're super cute. I, the shades are both very peachy, very summery time shades. I'm more of a neutral, peachy, warm tone type of gal when it comes to blushes. Maybe every once in a while I'll do a pink here and there, but mostly neutrals. And I like the fact that it comes with the complimenting highlighter because that's just easy, you know? The next item in here I was super excited to try, which is the e.l.f. Lash It Loud Volumizing Mascara. So I, again, that was another thing that I've been trying to find is more drugstore options when it comes to mascaras. And so I'm excited for this guy. The brush is everything to me when it comes to mascaras. And when it comes to volumizing, really building up, I really, really like the silicone brush heads. I also like the regular bristles too. I just want to know what you guys like. Like out of the two, do you prefer a silicone brush head or a bristle and why? Comment down below. These two were just refills on my e.l.f. camo concealers. I had to get more of these. Um, I got them in the same, no, I actually got them shades lighter. So light sand I kept, but I went up a little in the highlighting shade. This is light ivory. I've noticed that um, the other two shades that I've been using weren't doing it for me. So I just figured, why not just upgrade and brighten that up? So I did. We are down to like our last two items. And so this guy here, I had to try. This is the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. And so it is a color correcting, full coverage, natural finish CC Cream. Yes, it is a dupe for the Bye Bye It CC Cream. I have to try this because I honestly don't like that IT Cosmetic CC Cream. It does not set on my face. I cannot get it to just stay. It is constantly just moving or rolling or lifting on me and I was like, no, I'm not gonna pay that or use that if I can't trust it, you know? So when I saw that this was similar but a dupe for it, I wanna try it and see if maybe it's better. If you guys have tried this and you absolutely feel like it's better than the IT CC Cream, comment down below and tell me your thoughts. Okay, and then um, this guy here, I just, there's some Valentine's Day looks that are coming up that I can't wait to try these with. So you guys are seeing this on Sunday, actually on Wednesday of next week, I'm gonna be applying these to my look because I'm trying to do more of a artsy, pinky, bedazzled eye look for Valentine's Day and then obviously something glam, something a little more classic. So I'm trying to go with different looks and I saw that on the e.l.f. website and I was like, okay, I gotta try putting jewels on cause I have to try it at least once, you know? The other thing I'm super ecstatic for because if you know anything about me in skincare, you know that I like double cleansing. So the first step is makeup removing, whether it's with an oil or a balm, a micellar water, a milk, anything like that. And so e.l.f. has this holy hydration line of skincare and they have a makeup melting cleansing balm. Yes, everything, I need to try it. So I figured, let me try this. It's no parabens, no sulfates, no phthalates, cruelty free and vegan. It is a two-in-one makeup removing and facial cleanser. So I'm just gonna use it as my step one. I still wanna go in and cleanse my face with a regular cleanser, but I figured we got to try it. Um, and that was pretty much the last item of the haul. However, e.l.f. did gift me this brush because I purchased over $45. This is a flat eyeliner brush, so. That is the last item of this haul. I hope that you guys liked this haul and that you enjoyed going through it with me. I will list the prices to everything down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you watch the first impressions of all the products that I purchased in this haul, as well as 
subscribe and enter my giveaway guys this giveaway is happening for another five weeks you are coming into it on the third week and again the prize for this week is listed below the rules on how to enter the giveaway i just want to thank you guys so much for all of the support you've shown me so far i have made tremendous growth so far because of your support during this giveaway so thank you thank you so much it means a lot to me that you guys are willing to participate and just to share and subscribe i am really appreciative um, that is it for today's haul video guys i love you bless you and i will see you guys next time